Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I did promise that I was going to try and keep a reg semi-regular posting schedule uh, this year. I really want to make a good go of it. And I now have another video for you. So this one is all about clipping. Now what I mean by clipping is, have you seen um, images out there, let's say online, where the background is so dark that um, a lot of the detail in the image has been lost. So a lot of astrophotographers when they first start out they actually think that you know their background of their images should be so so dark. I am guilty of this and here's an image of mine from January 2018 of the Orion Nebula. I made the background so dark that I probably lost all the nice fuzzy detail that's you know surrounding the Orion Nebula because let's face it that area of space is pretty dusty. So in this video I'm going to show you how to avoid clipping the data during image capture and also how to avoid clipping your image, uh, the black point, when you're processing the data once you've finished uh, stacking it all etc. So let's get into it. If you like what you see don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. Okay, so first off I'm going to show you how to avoid clipping your data during image capture. I'm going to show you in sharp cap but these the setting that I'm going to change is available in other Astro programs as well um, and basically it is the black level or offset setting. Now I've connected up my Alta Astro 294C Pro Tech camera up to a Canon lens using their Hypercam adapter for this and you're currently seeing a very small piece of my lounge. <laughs> First off we want to open up the histogram and at the moment my data is, I'm going to say I'm clipping my data because the peaks of my histogram, especially the blue, is right up against the edge of my graph. Now, to remedy this situation, all you have to do is adjust the black level or offset. And as I increase this, you will notice that the peaks move away from the left hand side. That setting's actually probably too much. And generally, for this camera, I usually run it at a setting of about 30. And that just ensures that the data in my image isn't up against the left hand side of the graph. If you're using APT or Nina, the, the, you just have to keep an eye on the histogram in those programs, make sure it's not touching the left hand side and if it is, increase your black level or offset accordingly. Now if you do change it, obviously you're going to probably have to shoot some new darks because darks have to match our lights exactly. If you've done a sensor analysis in SharpCap and if you haven't or don't know how to check out my video on sensor analysis you can in SharpCap use the smart histogram tool and I've just brought that up by clicking on the brain and you can aim for max dynamic range or unity gain and it will give you the optimal black level um, that you sh probably should be using for your sky conditions. It's important to note that you can run the sensor analysis during the day inside the house, at home, wherever, but the smart histogram tool needs to be done just before you start imaging and make sure that you're pointing at a dark area of sky. If you're using a DSLR, it's a little bit different and when you're taking your exposures just keep an eye on the histogram make sure you've got like, your information to display on each image um, and just make sure that the his your your exposures are long enough so that the histogram doesn't hit the left hand side likewise if you're overexposing and your put your peaks are touching the right hand side you're also clipping the data as well so it's imp basically it's important to keep an eye on the histogram and you're more likely to clip the black levels, um, so just adjust the black level or offset accordingly. 
Okay, so the question is now, how do we avoid clipping the data during processing? Now, I've got an image here. Um, this was stacked in PixInsight and then I've done like a background neutralization and it's I've done like a um, histogram stretch. So it's already slightly stretched. But if you're stretching, you also need to keep an eye on the histogram as well. So here in Photoshop, the histogram is over on, well, it, it's wherever you want to put it, but keep an eye on that histogram. Now notice how the background looks as I start to clip the data. And by clipping the data, I mean, I'm moving these black levels slider well into the peak of my data. And there we go. Look how dark that background is. But suddenly I've lost loads and loads of detail that was surrounding the Orion Nebula. So if I take it back to where it was, got lots of dust around here, useful data, image data. But the moment I slide the black level into that peak, it starts to disappear. And if you do this on your sort of background layer and then click OK, we've now lost all of that data. So let me just undo that. So when we stretch our images, and it doesn't matter what program you're using, whether it's PixInsight or APP or Photoshop, we have to stretch safely. I always recommend making a new adjustment layer, but for this, I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it. So I'm now sliding the midtones not too far into the data. And the black, I'm always making sure I don't clip any of the data at all. And that's pretty much, that's as far as I would probably stretch this image. If you're using Camera Raw as well, it's very easy to clip the data. So we must all, always keep an eye on the histogram. So for example, let's just take the black level slider all the way down. Now you'll see some on my camera raw, some blue speckles have started to appear. And this is indicating where in the image the data is started to become clipped. If I decrease all the way down, yep, I've pretty much lost loads of data in a huge chunk of the image. So always be mindful of your histogram, where the peak is, and are you chopping into it by ramming it up against the left hand side. So I've just opened up my other version of this image, which I have stretched safely whilst keeping an eye on the histogram. And you can see that you can see all the dust, the core is nicely exposed um, and pretty much nothing is clipped. Um, the black, the dust around the Orion Nebula is easily visible. And here's my super clipped image of the Orion Nebula. You can see the histogram is cut off, it's rammed up against the left hand side. There's only slight bits of dust in the background visible. We've lost all that nice detail that was around. So thank you for watching this video. I, I hope this helps people out there. Um, I am certainly guilty of doing this. Well, when I when I first started, I used to clip the background of my images all the time, <laughs> sometimes to hide any, um, you know, any nasty backgrounds that I might have had. But after a while, it finally sunk in and I decided to embrace the dust and embrace the fact that not all of space is completely pitch black um, not to a camera at least anyway and yeah and i feel like my images are much improved for fighting against my urges to make space super super dark 
So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video soon. Bye for now.